I'm not sure you are entirely prepared for how spectacularly awesome this next testimony is that we're going to share with you. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get over God's wonder and, and, his, and the awe of him from this one. I never want to. So I want you to check out this video. Uh, my name is Taylor and I do young adults ministry here at Journey and I was asked to share about some cool things that the Lord has done for me. This goes back to when I was I, I was 18 at the time. Um, my mom had gotten in a car accident and passed away within a few weeks and she was my girl like we were really close she is the reason that well the Lord used her to um, to bring me to him. And so her death really prompted me to take my faith seriously. And I attribute that to her. Uh, and then about a month and a half ago, I got a phone call that my dad had unexpectedly passed away in his sleep. We didn't know why it wasn't coming. He didn't have any crazy medical stuff going on. So it was a really big, uh, a big shock. For about a month after that, I was pretty confused and frustrated, really sad, obviously, and, and I, was tr I was processing through that with the Lord and asking Him all of my really hard and big questions and having a mini existential crisis. And um, when you're faced with your humanity, that kind of happens, right? Like you're, you realize one day I'm gonna die and what is all of this for? And so I was having these really really tough conversations with God. I felt like I was crying out these really desperate prayers that were not cute or polished. They were really ugly actually, but they were real. And uh, I, I didn't feel like the Lord was hearing me. I didn't feel like he was with me. And I was angry because I'm young and both of my parents have been taken from me. Fast forward uh, a few weeks ago, which would have been like just over a month since my dad had passed. One of our Connections team members, shout out to Lucinda, she came up to me and she handed me a book and it was The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. And I had remembered hearing about that book before from my family and from my mom. And uh, she, she handed it to me and she said that she really felt like she was supposed to give this book to me specifically. And I look on the inside of it and it says Taylor. And then it is this whole thing about how this book like got her through a really difficult season with my dad. And then it said love mom at the bottom. And I took the book home and I found some letters from my mom and the handwriting was the exact same and the book was from 2007 and somehow it made its way back to me. And the Lord just reminded me that through that act and that simple act of obedience from somebody who doesn't even know my story, she knows nothing about me, which made it even cooler and wilder to me. Um, but he reminded me that he is, he sees all things and he doesn't leave or forsake you. And, all the things that you're asking of him, whether they're big or small, he hears them. And he's still very active and present and working, even if you don't feel like he is. Let's give God some praise. <laughs> I, the first time Taylor told me that story, sitting up in that conference room, it took a minute for it to sink in what exactly happened. I don't know if you guys understand what happened there, um, but I want to bring Taylor up, and, and, and I think there's some things that we need to kind of seal up in this moment um, together. Where's Lucinda? She, 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 I saw her. There she is. Hey, Lucinda. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh, praise God. Um, so I, thank you so much for being willing to do this first off, because this is like fresh. This is really fresh. And um, the Lord is still actively at work in this whole thing. And, uh, but we have to give God praise in a moment like where there's this kind of acceleration of the comfort of the Holy Spirit. 
you know, what might have taken years or what might have been reserved for 15 years from now. In terms, like there's like a, a, an accordion effect that happened with this in terms of what God brought into the now. And so um, question for you. So how long ago did your mom pass away? Um, we're coming up on eight years in a couple weeks. Yeah, so about eight years ago. So um, you, you, what, I just want you guys to understand what was going on here. Um, your mom lived where at the time? Um, she lived around the Flint area, which is like just over an hour away from here. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out how the Purpose Driven Life book written with a note to Taylor, made it from Flint area to here. Uh, Lucinda picked it up at a bookstore. Was it, uh, was it in this area? Goodwill and Jackson. Somehow it made it to Jackson. What? <laughs> and, and she picked up, you picked up a bunch of them, right? It wasn't just one book, it was multiple books. And, um, and we have some in the, in the cafe. If you know, want some of that anointing, go over and, and you know. It's like, good. <laughs> this is good. This is, um, this is crazy. Like, um, and, it, and the Lord told Lucinda to give this to Taylor. To, it, Lucinda didn't know, like they barely know each other. Okay? Uh, she didn't know her story. She didn't know what she was going through. Um, so... I'm trying to pastor my staff member who's having this crisis. And I, I just uh, put yourself in, in her shoes for a moment. She's going through this ins insane moment. And, I, and I'm just trying to get her to not, like, jump off the ledge and, like, quit everything. I like, guess. That's as, for real. As a boss. <laughs> That's for real. And, and, and I'm not a trained counselor, but I was just going to the word, you know, we we're just going to the word, trying to spiritually father her and, and that. And, um, but guess what? I didn't have the answers. Like I found myself at a loss, like every time, like, I'm like, okay, Jesus, take the wheel. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I knew there was something like special for Taylor. And so, um, we just kept going back to scripture and so just talk with me about those moments before this breakthrough, like in, I, I don't know, dive into that a little bit more because I think there's, there's just something there. Yeah. Um, it, it's really hard to put language to it. And if you've been through this, you, you know when it feels like, the only way I can figure out any way to describe it is it's like all the air had been like taken out of my lungs. Mm. Any energy that I had, any will to like fight and push through, it was just gone. Um, I had never experienced this before. Like I've, I've been through different things and my mom's death, uh, it turned me to the Lord. And so I was really confused when this happened, why I was asking the questions I was asking. And I just, I, I wasn't able to pray. <laughs> the only real prayers I, I said, like in the video, it was just me like yelling and crying and snotting all over the floor and whatever. <laughs> it was really ugly. Um, and I wasn't able to worship and I just had never experienced like that level of despair. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was, it was not great. It was really dark. And this is, this is why I think we need to share this. This is why I think we need to know this and hear this this morning is because some of you are there some of you have been there and you maybe didn't have this kind of a miraculous breakthrough moment. Some of you, you need to file this away for some day when you will be there. Okay? Um, God sees you and he knows what you're going through and he is perfectly able to pull you through it. Comforter Holy Spirit um, is, is greater than we can imagine. Okay? Okay? And, and so this um, story of triumph just gives him, gives him glory, you know. Uh, he used Lucinda. He used this note that your mom wrote more than eight years ago sometime. 2007. <laughs> 2007 um, that never had made it to you. Um, and, and he used her. Um, and... Now, the body of Christ, we get to understand what God has done and understand what that means for us. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good thing to grapple with. We need, 
We need to wrestle with that and understand that the Lord sees, he loves, and he can supernaturally bring you to a place of comfort. So um, I just wanted to, to express that to you all today. Is there anything else you want to say, Taylor? I just thank you so much for coming up and sharing this with us. I, I think you nailed it. Okay. Um, yeah, the big, the big thing that the Lord was speaking to me, because I, in that period of like a month after my dad died, like I said, it was really dark and um, cried the most desperate prayers. Um, and I, I could not feel or hear or see him. And I thought he was so absent. Um, and so by him, it, it's like he stepped through time and space to bring this to me, literally just to say, I love you and I see you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's his heart for you guys today to remind you um, in the good and the bad, the really ugly. <laughs> he, he sees all of it. Amen. Let's give God some praise this morning. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah. God is so good.